when one kidneys fail, they have one of two options, either to undergo routine dialysis or a kidney transplant, which is a more permanent solution to the problem. When it comes to dialysis, there are two options, either hemodialysis, where one is hooked up to a machine like this, sometimes three to five times in a week. But there's also peritoneal dialysis, which experts say can even be done at home. Elias Gulu sits in his hospital bed at the Kenyatta National Hospital, waiting pensively for the next dialysis session to begin. Upande wa mkojo alikuwa na shida na alikuwa na hema, alikuwa hali yake sio mzuri, alikuwa hali mbaya. Unlike in the past, when he would require a nurse to connect him to a dialysis machine that would remove waste and extra fluid from his blood, today. 14-year-old Elias from Kiliifi County will be undergoing a much simpler yet effective process that his parents say has given him a new lease of life. Before being put on peritoneal dialysis, which is a machine-free type of dialysis, his parents, Joseph Galgalo and Agnes Zawadi, say that they had explored all forms of treatment for their son. alianza na spot hapo chini ya mguu yake spot ambayo iko kama black kama ambaye amechomeka na kala moto na sasa ile ukawa kuna black stuff ambayo ime accumulate ndani ambayo ni kama makaa ambayo imepondwa pondwa it's black sasa tukakata ile sehemu na tukatoa ile unga unga ya makaa ndani na hapo ndiyo akaanza shida ya mugu. Kidonda ilikuwa kwa mugu wake na tukajaribu kumpeleka kwa zahanati. Zizi dispensary zetu. Hapo chamari kuna dispensary. Kuna dispensary nyingine hapa uh, marafa. Marafa kuna health center. Tukampeleka pale akaendelea kutibiwa. Tukaendelea kumuosha na asali na kidonda ikawa kidogo ime, inapona lakini kabla hiyo akaanza kufura mwili uh, kabla hiyo kidonda haijapona ime, ilikuwa imefika karibu na kupona akaanza kufura mwili na tukaona uh, tumrudishe tena huko kwa hospitali ya Malindi Sub County Hospital na akaenda akalazwa alilazwa for about eight days hivi na madaktari wakatuambia huyu sasa uh, figo zake zimefeli sasa baada ya figo kufeli hakuna option nyingine isipokuwa aanzishiwe dialysis following the revelation of his son's condition after what started as a foot infection galgalo says elias began undergoing hemodialysis in 2017 and that fateful day 4 years ago marked the beginning of hospital tours that would take them to all corners of the country and across the border as they sought answers to their son's suffering. Kawekewa kateta kwa shingo na ikafanya tu muda mfupi ikafail ika ikakataa ika kufanya kazi. Akatolewa aka akawekwa aka kwa upande mwingine tena na akaendelea nayo kidogo hiyo pia nayo ikafail. Ilipokuwa imefail sasa ndio wakatafuta sehemu ya paja na wakapata wakamwekea mara moja na akaendelea na hiyo baada ya muda hiyo pia naye ikakataa daktari akasema kwamba zile uh, mshipa yake um, ime 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 collapse haina haina hai, hai nafasi ya kupitisha ile mpira wa katheta kwa sababu hiyo sasa tukakuwa referred kwenda makadara Mombasa uh, Coast General wakatafuta mshipa ingine akapata aka na hiyo ili, ilifanya kazi muda mfupi zaidi na ikafail ilipokuwa sasa hiyo imefail ikawa kuna hakuna option nyingine isipokuwa sasa ni watu rifaa na hawakutuambia tuje Kenyatta lakini baada ya kwamba umetu discharge pale tukarudi nyumbani baada ya kurudi nyumbani tukaenda tukakaa kama siku inne na hali ya kijana ilikuwa inaendelea kuwa mbaya tukaona kwamba uh, kuna wakenya wengi ambao huwa wanaenda huko uh, Tanzania huko Moshi kuna hospitali nyingine kule Moshi ambayo uh, inaitwa Kilimanjaro uh, uh, Medical Center na wa, wa, wanasema kwamba wanasafishwa figo na watu wanapona ndio sasa tuka, tukaenda huko 
ngawaje safari yetu haikuwa rahisi kwa sababu ya hii mambo ya covid 19 tulipokuwa tumefika huko akawa admitted 5 days na wakajaribu sana wale madaktari wa hapo wakajaribu lakini mwisho wakatuambia kwamba sasa sisi hatuwezi ku uh, kumfanyia jambo lolote lile isipokuwa sasa ni kateta uh, iende ifanywe operation mshipa ioperatiwe na ifixiwe hiyo 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 kateta na hiyo iko expensive sana whereas hemodialysis remains the most common method of treatment little is known about another type of dialysis that doctors say is just as effective yet more convenient for the patient this method peritoneal dialysis uses the patient's peritoneum a membrane lining the abdomen to help filter the blood using a special type of liquid What's more, it can easily be done from the comfort of one's home. Dr. John Ngegi, a consultant nephrologist and head of the renal unit at the Kenyatta National Hospital, explains how peritoneal dialysis works. A peritoneal dialysis is a very good method of dialysis, just like hemodialysis that you're seeing behind me. Peritoneal dialysis simply uses uh, the body physiology. It uses the peritoneal membrane, which is lining inside the abdomen. And this lining is very vast, almost the size of the skin, with special holes. And if you put in some fluid there, then you can be able to get some exchange. That is, uh, some chemicals can move from one side of the membrane to the other. So basically, we use that membrane to do peritoneal dialysis. And as you have seen, we put in water, special fluid. And in that special fluid, fluid are chemicals, which the body does not have so that those chemicals go to the body and the toxins or the poisons if you like that the body has because of kidney failure would come to the water and then after some time you pour the water out that is basically what we call peritoneal dialysis and those exchanges or putting in the water inside happens four times a day so a patient then will use those special bags with fluids uh, four of them per day and every time the patient is on then dialysis is happening. So it's a more physiological way of offering dialysis than hemodialysis. In fact, it's a better method of uh, dialysis than the one you're seeing me behind because it's more physiological. And also, if you like, it clears, it cleans or clears poisons or the what we call the uh, solutes more than this one behind. So patients are better off. Their well-being is more reassured. And because you don't have to be in the hospital, because you can do this dialysis at home, then your economic life is much better. Just days after their son was wheeled into the Kenyatta National Hospital, Galgalo and his wife, who has now received training on how to attend to her son without clinical aid, say they have noted significant improvements. <laughs> Lita moja, una muachi ya masama ine, una mtoa, una muweke nyingine, lita moja. Tena una muachi ya tena, masama ine. Wana chukua, ikiwa lita mbili, na iweka hapa. Na iweka hapa. Nangalia kama ni lita mbili kweli. Kwanza nimeangalia kama ime spy au iko sawa au ime, ime sikia, siku zake zimeisha. Nikijua siku zake bado wazizi ya isha ndio naweka hapa na pima. Nipate ni lita mbili. Ndiyo nianze kumfungulia sasa. Niangalia mpaka ni ikifika kwa lita moja ninafunga. Ako nae ni mifungia hapo. Kuna pali na fungia. Ni funge. Ndiyo ni mfungue. Ni muachie masama ine. Akimaliza masama ine ni rudi tena. Ni chukwe tena ni connect hapa. Ni fungulia maji. Ile ambayo ni memuekea itoke. Ni, ikimalizika kutoka. Huku ni ikiangalia sara kini. Imetoka na daika ngapi. Niki, nikiangalia huko niki, nikiandika nikirudi tena ni mweke niangalie imeingia na dakika ngapi so nikimaliza nitajua nimetumia dakika ngapi 
when the patients come to us, we have to teach them what peritoneal dialysis is, uh, the gadgets that we use for peritoneal dialysis, the importance of uh, observing things like, like a septic technique, and basically on how to know when they have contaminated the procedure. So cleanliness is very vital. They must observe a higher, you know, higher levels of cleanliness from simple things like sweeping the floor, making sure that the, the places are dusted, and then they have the proper tables that we use for peritoneal dialysis, so that by the end of the day, they don't have a rupo for infection. In the event of an infection, patients exhibit symptoms like acute pain in the abdomen, bloating or a feeling of fullness in the abdomen, nausea, vomiting, fever, among others. Nas Ambinja advises that patients should contact their health care provider in the event that they experience such symptoms. This is a very effective method of, I mean, of dialysis. People may prefer hemodialysis because they think that it, that it is cheaper. But if you imagine that uh, this patient like now has come from all the way from Kirifi, he has his mother and his father here. Uh, he was, if he was coming for hemodialysis, the father and the mother would be traveling to, from Kirifi to this place every two times in a week. But when we train them to do peritoneal dialysis, they go home with the skills which we have disseminated unto them. And so long as the peritoneal dialysis is working well, we can, we can have, you know, the patients can just be contacting us by the phone or even coming for their clinic. For, the, for, for their clinics, which may be maybe once in six months or even maybe once in a year. Like for example, I have a patient who is on peritoneal dialysis that we trained uh, rates in, uh, in the year 20, no, in the year 2019. And he has never come to us. He just comes to correct his friends and then the, the relatives goes back. The patient is okay and is all the way in Kitui. He came in very sick, but right now he's very well. He can even drive his tractors and do all the work that he could not do, and he's a retired old man. Alipo, alipo anzishwa hii, niliona manufaa yake kwa sababu alirudi sawa. Sivile alikuwa kitengenezuwa na machine. Sasa, amekuwa yuko, amepona, yani kama amepona. Anaendelea vizuri, kula anakula, alikuwa hali, kula anakula vizuri. Anatoka hapa, anaenda kuwaga mwenyewe. Dr. Ngigi says that a majority of patients on this procedure are children. In a week, the hospital gets two to three patients in need of peritoneal dialysis. Because one, uh, hemodialysis is more marketed, it's easier to provide, and is the one that you have known for a long time. But in other countries, say like for example South Africa and Europe, people prefer peritoneal dialysis first than hemodialysis. In fact, there's what we call peritoneal dialysis first, where people, before they go to hemodialysis, use uh, peritoneal dialysis because it preserves kidney function better. For those people whose kidneys have not filled completely, it preserves it better. And like I said before, your well-being is more reassured when you are using uh, peritoneal dialysis than hemodialysis. But again, again, it's because we have, we are, we have grown up knowing uh, hemodialysis than peritoneal dialysis. But also, peritoneal dialysis is a bit expensive. It's expensive because in the short run, <clears throat> people have to use this fluid which we are talking about, and it's expensive. But in the long run, in the long run, it's perhaps even better economically than this one. Because people who are using this one are able to run their normal life better, and they're able to be economically active. Changamoto yetu kubwa ni maji. Ile maji ambayo inatumio kufanyiwa peritoneal dialysis hiyo ya PD um, ni gali sana. Pakti moja ni 3,300. So hiyo hatuwezi kwa afford kununua hiyo. Maneke kwa siku anatumia mbili na nusu. Ambayo sasa ni almost uh, uh, 10,000. Na yeye anataikana atumie continuously. Baada ya masama ine lazima atolewe maji na wekwe ingine. Kwa hivyo, it is a lot of money. The government, through the National Hospital Insurance Fund, NHIF, has a renal dialysis and kidney transplant package that includes coverage of dialysis of up to two sessions a week at 9,500 shillings. The kidney transplant package covers up to half a million shillings for both donor and recipient. However, 
peritoneal dialysis that costs a patient like Elias an average of 300,000 shillings per month is not covered and doctors say this disparity exposes gaps in the management of renal care in the country. Peritoneal dialysis, you are at home. So in the long run, the economics of peritoneal dialysis are favorable than those ones of uh, hemodialysis. In any case, when patients do get transplants, because you can transition through uh, to transplantation through hemodialysis, peritoneal dialysis, they are better off. People who do transplantation from peritoneal dialysis are much better off than those ones who do transplantation from peritoneal dialysis, uh, from hemodialysis. Also, the blood pressure control water management and anemia management is much better when you are on peritoneal dialysis than on hemodialysis. So we have got so many reasons to want to talk about peritoneal dialysis than hemodialysis. Those eligible for peritoneal dialysis include? People who may require a peritoneal dialysis are limited. But one, children, because of their size and because you cannot get blood vessels, are likely to be on peritoneal dialysis than on hemodialysis. So it's the preferred choice of dialysis for children and those people who are small, so to say, not necessarily children, even some small adults, particularly those people whose blood vessels are not very well formed. Another group of people who can benefit from peritoneal dialysis are those people, like the elderly people, people whose blood uh, pressure is not good. Like for example, people whose blood pressure is very low are likely to benefit from uh, peritoneal dialysis because as you realize the hemodialysis is very harsh to blood pressure but peritoneal dialysis is slow and gentle because it doesn't cause blood pressure shifts so for those patients even patients in ICU whose blood pressures are low they are likely to benefit from peritoneal dialysis so it's a prefer preferable method this simple yet effective method of managing kidney failure is still an alien proposal to Kenyans this procedure which has been proven to be better and more convenient to the patient, is still uncommon in Kenyan hospitals and homes. Located on each side of the spine, at the lowest part of the rib cage, kidneys play an important role in the body, with the primary function of the bean-shaped organ being filtering waste products, excess water and impurities from the blood. When this function is disrupted, one loses the ability to sufficiently filter waste from blood. Patients are left with two options, dialysis to help the body remove waste or a transplant to restore normal functions. When uh, Arias was coming to us, he was completely cachexic, he could not eat well, he was uh, vomiting whatever he eats, but no sooner after doing dialysis, he starts eating up everything, even what we had forbidden him to eat when he was on hemodialysis. So by the end of the day, you come to realize that when the patients are doing uh, peritoneal dialysis, they are in good well-being and they are themselves. It's like, so long as the, the fluid is in the peritoneal cavity, I tell them it's like you have a working kidney. With two options for dialysis, Patients in need can pick the option that suits them best. For Health Digest, I am Dr. Masikorir. This is KTN.